Hello everyone, look at all good, big shout out to KRCT, Couriers and Transport Limited, and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. So, imagine being a, an active criminal most of your life. You've been in an out of prison, well, for decades. Now, John Ash has just got another nine-year sentence. He's 74. He's been given an 18-year sentence in the past, a 22-year sentence. He saved a lot of time. Now, I heard about John Ash in 1995 when he was released after his 18-year sentence, after only serving 11 months. Now, the then Home Secretary, Michael Howard, you know, released him because he'd provided information that took 150 guns off the streets around the northwest. Now, it later came to light that these guns were planted by his nephew, Paul Bennett. And he got charged with perverting the course of justice in 2007, 2008, and ended up getting, you know, a big sentence again because of that. No, he didn't escape it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know who said something. It must have been going about that, you know, it was a plant and you know, someone's fucked up there along the way, haven't he? But I was thinking, he's 74 now, John, right? Nine years, he's going to be hitting, what, 79 when he gets out. Now, he's gone up to Sheffield and set fire to someone's house over the dead. £280,000. A lot of money. Right, if you know someone's 280 quid, then, you know, something's going to, there's going to be a comeback, isn't it? You know, maybe that was his retirement package. Get a few quid, sit off and just, you know, live the dream for the rest of your life. No, well, he's back in jail. I know what it's like to be of a certain age in prison. I, when I first went to prison, it was, all right, Bill, how are you, lad? You're okay. A couple of years later, it's, Uncle Bill, how are you getting on, lad? Now it'll be Pops. What's it going to be next? Granddad. That's how it's going to be. Now I remember looking over the railings on the fives in Walton Jail. I had this little half fella standing next to me, both leaning over the railings. He's looking down, I'm looking down. And he looks at me and he went, Do you know what, son? Life doesn't get any easier and we're not getting any younger. And I looked him up and said, I thought, little half fella, ah, oh, bless him. Probably the same age I am now, or 50. But when you were in your early 20s, everyone over fucking 30s is a fucking tabby, aren't they? He's standing there in his pair of Reebok Royals, his prison blues, his prison shirt, bald head, and he's passing on a pearl of wisdom to me. He's letting me know that jail doesn't get any easier. And that we don't get any younger. And that resonated with me for years because every time I got on that merry-go-round of prison institutions and almost death, right, that kept coming back to me. We're not getting any younger. It doesn't get any easier. You're our Uncle Bill. You're our Pops. What's it going to be next, Granddad? So when I read about people who have been, you know, actively in the game for years and you know, the big names like of Curtis and John you know you were both still physically fit you know but you start to deteriorate you do get old and I think they must think it would be nice just to like just sit off and enjoy what you've got left and I hope I shared these little uploads and in the hope that someone out there, especially the youth of today, understands that life in prison is all fun and games until you get old. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. You know, you're going to miss your kids growing up. Your bird's going to deage on you because she's going to be shagging the fucking neighbour. You know, because she can't be arse waiting for you and all those promises. But anyway, there's my little... Upload my little pale of wisdom, I suppose. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care.